stage four cancer miraculously healed by God. We're going to be sharing how the Lord came and touched people's lives as well as scriptures that will encourage you as well as a challenge for how you can grow in your relationship with God and a prayer to end it all. Welcome to the show. My name is Joel Bomberger. Uh, every week, my goal is to share with you different testimonies of how God is at work in our globe right now, across the nation and right here in Lancaster. And I believe it'll be encouraging to you to see how the Holy Spirit is still supernaturally and miraculously touching people's lives, as well as sharing the scriptures of what God is speaking to you every week and I believe it'll be encouraging as well as a challenge at the end and a prayer for you so if you like this type of content hit the subscribe for this to happen every week and if it was encouraging to you give a comment let me know what was the most faith building for you during this time Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever and the Holy Spirit is still at work bringing healing bringing deliverance and bringing freedom and today we have an incredible testimony of a stage four cancer being miraculously healed I literally just got the text this morning from one of the pastoral staff at the church I attend here in Ephrata Pennsylvania where this lady called and said that she had stage four cancer was diagnosed with stage four cancer the doctor gave her an estimate of about two years to live. And I don't know about you, but to have that type of diagnosis, there is a ton of fear and you don't even know what to do with that. But God is bigger than that. And she called this morning to say that after a Sunday morning, a word of knowledge was given over the stage. We prayed for her in the congregation. And after that moment, she went back to the doctor and she is now 100% cancer free. They could not find any cancer left in her body. Come on. God is good. And he is the healer. And as I just shared this incredible testimony, I wanted to share how it came about. Because the Holy Spirit, how he works is through gifts, just like 1 Corinthians 12 says. They're still alive today. And it was actually one Sunday morning, I believe it was several months ago uh, in 2023. And I remember sitting in the congregation and uh, every Sunday during our church service, we give space for the Holy Spirit to speak, whether that's a word of knowledge or a prophetic word. And during that time, I had this intense taste of iron in my mouth. And that might seem a little bit foreign to you, but I suddenly tasted like irony, like blood taste in my mouth. And I've grown to know through my years of walking through the Lord that that's actually a supernatural Holy Spirit word of knowledge to mean that cancer is present in the room. And I immediately was like, why am I tasting this? And I was just a regular worship Sunday morning service. And I felt the Holy Spirit say, there's cancer in this room. And then I felt clearly, and I was like, okay, Lord, like where, who is it? And I felt it was somebody in the left side of the room. It was a girl and she was wearing the color green. And then I was like, okay, Lord, is there any other details that you want to give me? And then I felt, okay, I think they live in a cul-de-sac. You know, I was just trying to hear from the Lord to make it as specific as possible. So I go up to one of the pastors and I say, hey, I felt like this was happening. And they was like, okay, we have a couple words of knowledge to read, jump up and share it. So I shared this word and I had no idea who this person was, if this was the case. I said, hey, you're on the left side, you're wearing green, you're, you're a lady, I think you live in a cul-de-sac and I believe that you have a, a recent cancer diagnosis and God wants to bring healing. Well, it turns out this wife and her husband came up front and they said that as I was calling it out, that the Holy Spirit fell on his wife and she began to visibly shake because God saw her. That's the beautiful thing about words of knowledge is that it shows that God sees the situation that you're in and it ignites faith in us to believe he wants to do something because she had just had a recent diagnosis. She was wearing the color green and she lived in a cul-de-sac and she had not told anybody about the diagnosis yet. And she comes up, receives prayer, and they were so encouraged that God saw them. 
But now months later, she called the church to confirm that not only was it just a good prayer or not only was it, oh, that was cool that I was seen, but God actually brought supernatural healing to her body. Praise God. Give a comment if that really encouraged you. We're going to be praying at the end for people to be healed, even through a video like this. So we share testimonies of how God is supernaturally working. But the scripture I would like to share is Isaiah 66. And as we share this, God says that this is the one whom he would look to that he wants to dwell with, he wants to rest upon, and it's somebody who is contrite and humble. But listen to this, because in the verse one of chapter 66 of Isaiah, Jesus, the Lord says this, heaven is my throne, the earth is my footstool, but where's the house you could build for me? Where's the place that I may rest? For my hand made all these things. God created the earth, right? He created everything. So why could we create him? something more he says thus all these things came to being declares the lord but to this one i will look to him who is humble and contrite of spirit and trembles at my word god looks at those who are humble god looks at those who are contrite of spirit god looks at those who tremble at his word do you want god to dwell with you do you want God to inhabit your house, your church, your ministry? He says, I don't look for places that you build. What I look for is the right heart posture. Are you humble to submit to him? Are you contrite and you tremble at his word? And this is convicting even to me as I think, do I spend time in his word? And do I look over his scripture and do I tremble at it? Am I humbly saying, I want to submit myself to this word? It's not about just doing my own thing and wanting him to be added onto it. It's about looking at his word and saying, I tremble at this Lord. When you speak to me, I want to honor what you're saying. And his word is the very thing in the scriptures. It is the most sure prophetic word. So this week, I would encourage you, get into his word and do you tremble at it. Which brings me to the next segment of the show, which is your weekly challenge. And the challenge I want to give you this week to grow in your relationship with God is three things. Number one, are you in the word? I would encourage you 30 minutes every day get in the Word of God. And maybe for you this week, it's reading through Isaiah over the next month. Maybe it's reading through the New Testament. Try 10 chapters a day will get you through the whole New Testament in 30 days. Take the challenge and read just 30 minutes a day. I believe you can do 10 chapters in 30 minutes a day. Number two, I want you to spend time 30 minutes a day in prayer. That can look like turning on worship music. That can look like sitting in silence. That can mean praying through your prayer list of friends or things that you need. But pray 30 minutes every day. This is your challenge for how to grow in your relationship with God. And then the third thing that I want to challenge you with this week is would you pray for somebody else who's in need for God to supernaturally intervene in their life? Maybe somebody is sick. Maybe somebody has a financial need. Maybe somebody is discouraged, but would you take time, not just pray in your secret, but actually approach them, maybe text them, maybe DM them, maybe ask them in person, can I pray over you? And just give them a 30 second minute long prayer for God to intervene in their life. So would you spend 30 minutes a day in the scripture, 30 minutes a day in prayer, and would you pray for at least one person this week who has a need? That is your challenge this week to grow in your relationship with God. And I'm confident that the Holy Spirit is going to use you to bring his kingdom this week. If you'd like to have a shout out or share an encouraging word in a future show, drop it in the comment, I'll look through them. But this week, I wanted to shout out all of the donors who gave for me to have a brand new MacBook Pro so I could be doing videos like this, so I could be doing more editing and even just sermon writing. My old 
computer was so bad, it literally could not even get through simple tasks like opening and closing a web browser. So I did a GoFundMe yesterday and within 24 hours, I was blown away, all the money came in and I wanna thank you guys so much. So I'm just gonna rattle off a few names and then we're gonna end in a prayer, so stick around. Brecken, I thank you for donating. We have John Skinner, Nancy Trong, Andriano Broccoli, Andrew Hall, Jacob Coyne, thank you Jacob, love you bro. John Balance, Catherine Fournier, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Lisa Jones, Joan Ludwig, Monica Muir, Kay Blake, Cynthia Deegan, Emma Wanger, Nate Lofgren, James Standish, and Madison Billick, as well as a bunch of other anonymous donors. donors. You know who you are. Thank you so much for that. All right, as I conclude this show, I'm going to say a prayer for you, and I would encourage you to pray this prayer with me, and then give a comment about your favorite part in this show this week. Father, I thank you for whoever is watching this right now. I pray, God, that you would come over them right now with your Holy Spirit, and I ask that whatever need that they have, you would meet it supernaturally with the power of your Holy Spirit. Lord, I pray for those who have cancer in their family or cancer in their friend, that you would break the spirit of cancer and break the hold of that sickness in their body. And I pray right now that you would bring a supernatural healing, just like the testimony we heard earlier. And for anybody with sickness and disease, I command that sickness to leave their body in Jesus' name. And I ask God that you would touch them with your Holy Spirit. And I pray God, that you would encourage every person in this video with grace and peace to go and bring your kingdom to others this week. I ask that you would anoint their hands to heal, that they would be able to pray for the sick. They would be able to pray for somebody else, that you would actually bring somebody to their path that you want to touch and use them to bring healing. I ask that you would speak to them through your word and that you would come and fill them with fresh love and faith today in Jesus name. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next week.